Okay. We're going to talk about Jedi Apprentice number 15, The Death of Hope by Jude Watson. In this, Tull has been kidnapped and Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are desperately trying to rescue her. And that is pretty much this book. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, that sounds like a Bantam book. And, you know, on a very surface level, you would be right. It, it does feel like a Bantam book in some ways. But it is written so well. This might be the best paced Jedi Apprentice book since The Captive Temple. I'd even go as far as to say it's better paced than The Captive Temple. Qui-Gon's desperation to rescue the one he loves is just... It's just tearing him apart. Um, and he's willing to just risk everything to save her. Nothing else matters to him. It's so interesting to see Qui-Gon Jinn go through this. He's got all the feels. Also, intercut with this, we get a lot of young Qui-Gon. Now, we don't get young Qui-Gon with Count Dooku because by this time, I don't think... The writing team knew who Count Dooku was. We haven't quite transitioned to starting to talk about things that are going to be in Attack of the Clones yet in this series. We will get to that a little bit. Um, but in this, we've got Qui-Gon and Tall, the first time they met as younglings, and just how they... They grew up in the Jedi Order together and how close Qui-Gon is with her. Um, yeah, it, it makes... You kind of are starting to feel what's going to happen. Like, you know, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen at the end of this book. I won't spoil it, but just know in the next review, I have to talk about it. Um... Because it's kind of crazy. This feels like... These three books, if you're a James Bond fan, they feel like the Blofeld trilogy of books. Which would be Thunderball on Her Majesty's Secret Service and You Only Live Twice. They, they give me that vibe in like a very good way. Um, like it's just this great trilogy within... Jedi Apprentice. And this is probably the highlight of it. Um, it's interesting to see Qui-Gon out of balance. Obi-Wan tr desperately trying to help him, but not knowing what to do. Because Obi-Wan's still a kid. He he's older. He's been through some major stuff. But, I mean, his master's always pretty much always been there to help him out and get him through it so it's hard for obi-wan to see qui-gon in such turmoil which adds another element to this book i'd have to give this one a five out of five if i'm being honest this is probably the best jedi apprentice book it's a toss-up between this and the captive temple i really really like this book so anyway have a good one